Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. Today we're looking at the Joy Toy Warhammer 40k Black Templars Redemptor Dreadnought. Now we have seen a few of these before. We've seen the Ultramarines, we've seen the Blood Angels, and we've seen an Imperial Fists. Well, now we've got the Black Templars one, and it does look good. These are great toys. I'm not expecting anything majorly different compared to the others, but the others were really good, so... That's not a bad thing. Now, I've got some exciting news too. You can win one of these. Yes, you can. Joy Toy are providing one of these to one lucky YouTube viewer. All you have to do if you want to have a chance to win is just comment on this video. That's all you need to do. Comment on the video. But also, it will be recommended that you subscribe because when the winner is announced, it will be in a video in the future and you will only have two weeks to get in contact after that video has been made and the winner announced. And if you're not subscribed, you might miss that and then we'll have to do another draw and see if somebody else can win it instead of you. So comment on this video, subscribe to this channel and you have a chance to win a a uh, Black Templar Redemptor Dreadnought. Not this one, an actual brand spanking new one sent to you directly by Joy Toy themselves. Box looks good, great pose there, got a walking step going on. You see some articulation in the ankles there. Great with a fist. Looks really nice. On the back, we see some different pictures. See him posed here. Looks really cool. See the sarcophagi, or is it sarcophagus? Whichever. Uh, inside there as well. Very, very nice looking toy. And it tells you it's 33 cms. 33 centimeters high. We'll be measuring a bit later to check that out. Okay. So I'm going to unbox the setters up. Uh, if you like this sort of content, please consider joining the Patreon. Link in the top right of your screen now. Also in the video description. Also in the video description, you can find links with discounts for Joy Toy goods uh, from recommended sellers called Toys Club, Locker Toys, and Flight I'm a Joy Toy Store in the video description below. Okay, so let me uh, pause this, set this up, and I'll be back in an instant. Okay, he set out, and I've gone for quite an extreme walking pose. In fact, on his back leg, you can just about see only one toe is in contact. The other toes, even this one here, which looks like it is, are not in contact with the floor. And also, the front foot is on a split level. This is slightly higher than this, and he can balance. Now, these are top-heavy, so it can be an issue sometimes, but actually, the articulation is good. Uh, things that I'm not keen on, not, not keen on, things that could be improved. The toe articulation, I think, needs to be stiffer. The ratchets need to be slightly stiffer because they're so top heavy. Um, but other than that, there's not a lot I would say. They are very nice looking. Okay, let's get a close look. In fact, for that, let's have a quick look. You see the articulation, the pose he's in. That's quite an extreme walking pose or something so top heavy that he is in there. Let's get a close look. So let me just unpose him again. Okay. Okay, so close look first of all. So we've got the little missile pod at the top there. We come down to the uh, sarcophagi. So let me just open this up so you guys can get a uh, look at this. So the sarcophagus is inside here. Now, depending on how well it's been glued, you can actually take these out. I did it on my... Uh, Ultramarines, one C top right. Yeah, but this one's glued in very strong. So I'd have to actually force that to take it out. So you can take it out in the space behind. So you want to convert it into like a mech for something else you could do. The guns coming down to the legs. Let's have a look at the side. Now, another thing I'm not kidding, if you look at this emblem, you can see that there are some small marks, glue marks around here, but that's nothing major. To the side, you see his, his nice cannon, his sort of Gatling gun, mini gun he's got in his arm there. Lovely, great big on the uh, Black Templar logo. Same back as the others, just obviously the colour scheme is different. Let's 
And the back of the missile pod, I never noticed the back of the missile pod before. That does look pretty cool. Very nice. Other side. It'd be nice if actually they had a bigger back toe as well. Just to make it slightly easier to balance. They balance easier leaning forwards and standing up straight. And then the front we just saw. Very, very cool. Very, very nice. So, articulation. So, from the top to the bottom, the missile pod, which we can just about see if I take this up, is a tilt and a turn. We saw already that the sarcophagus part opens here. On the arms, the shoulders, racketed all the way around, coming outwards. This one goes to almost 90 the gun arm comes to almost 92, which is absolutely amazing. This one goes all around too. Bicep bend is not great. It's under 90 degrees. There's also a bicep swivel on the gun arm. Doesn't straighten, but they does get 90 degrees on the bend and it is a swivel too. But it doesn't straighten because of the uh, sculpt. On the waist, you can see it can dip, it can uh, turn, and it can, it should be able to, I think, not really forwards backwards, that'd be done by the hips. And speaking of the hips, forwards and backwards is about this far. Let's try the other way, I'm not telling you a lie. Yeah, about that far. So, you know, it's coming on for a split, which is pretty damn impressive. Such a big mech and toy. Outwards is this far here, which we can see is pretty cool. Kneecaps. He gets almost 90 degrees. Feet. The ankle. There is a... It needs to be slightly stiffer, but there's a ratcheted this way. You can turn. There is no side to side swivel uh, but the toes are on ratchets the front three toes but those ratchets really need to be slightly stiffer to help support the weight the ankle is not too bad on that um, in fact i'm telling a lie there is a there we go there is a side to side just that it's incredibly stiff which is good for something we have such a uh, uh, top heavy bulk it is an absolutely fantastic toy. You know, make a great centerpiece display for your Black Templars or your action figures, your joy toy or what you know or whatnot. It just does look so, so good. Very, very cool indeed. So let's just stick him here again. So they said 33 cm. You can almost see the top there. I'll move the camera up. Um, if I'm going from here, yeah, that's about. Bear in mind his legs aren't straight. I'm getting it here about 32 cm. So about 33 is correct. And I want to do one more thing before we close this out. And remember, if you want to win one of these, just have to comment on the video. That's all. And also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the actual announcement of who the winner is, the draw for that. Okay, so I'm going to quickly <coughs> come back with a family setup of the Bajoritoy Black Templars. And then we'll close out the video. So back in a moment. Here we go. That looks absolutely fantastic. We've got the uh, four-man Crusader squad. We've got the, we got the, uh, the Raider pattern ATV. The Primaris Assault, and we got the Redemptor Dreadnought. These Black Templars look just amazing together. Fantastic toys, fantastic Redemptor mech. Really, really happy with how it's turned out. Uh, I did miss something on articulation on the hand on the mech here. These fingers are articulated. You have two joints in each, so you can close and you can open on that too. And it does look amazing. And again, for your chance to win, just comment on this video and then subscribe to the channel so when the prize draw is done, you won't miss out on your chance to claim your prize. Very, very cool indeed. 
Okay, this is all Smash the Toys. I'm signing out saying please like, share, subscribe to this channel if you want to win the uh, prize. And also consider joining the Patreon. Link in the video description below with the discount codes. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy and keep collecting. Bye-bye.